and welcome back everybody to episode five of the CS Sports Talk. I'm Lily Maddox and that's Sean Campbell and we also have Aaron Owens at Engineer. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome back Lily. Yeah, I'm excited to be back. I know. You had a week of vacation, well vacation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You had a good time in Georgia. Yep, Atlanta, Georgia. How was it coming in this morning? Kind of rough. It was hard, hard to wake <laughs> up, but happy to be back for well, sure. Well, we all missed you. Oh, in the behalf of all of us, it was rather drab without you here. Oh, you, you bring really? some good energy. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with a question. I know um, our last episode we kind of forgot to do this, even though we said we were. But yeah. um, our question for you guys, and we're also gonna go over our answers as well. Is Super Bowl predictions. So yep. who do you guys think are going to the Super Bowl? Yeah, this whole episode is dedicated to the NFL. Yeah, the playoffs mm-hmm. are starting. Some things happened today. We're going to talk about. Yeah, but who do you think is going to go to the Super Bowl yeah. this year? Who's going to win it specifically? Right. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's start with Aaron. Do you have an idea? <laughs> <laughs> Just a wild guess. I have no predictions. No. Whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> no. You, I'll listen and maybe I'll have one by the time y'all are done talking. Okay. Do you um, do you look forward to watching the Super Bowl for the ads? <laughs> you know what? Okay, for me the Super Bowl is an event, and right. so it's not. Yeah, the ads are are yeah. funny and it's entertaining, but it's more of so for me. I look at it more as a, so, a social event, yeah, than an actual. Yeah. yeah. Generally, I, I don't care about who wins. <laughs> I actually, and this is something we should do on the business side. If any of us are watching it, kind of grade the ads and see which ones are our favorite afterwards. Yeah. I, I did that last year. Did you? Yeah. I can't remember who I won. I was going to say, do you remember the winner? I can't remember. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. I, I think I put it in summer one, in my phone or something. Mm. I yeah. will have to show you my favorite, one of my favorite. Super Bowl ads of all time, but I'll show you after. Okay. okay. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> Lily, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Well, my predictions. This has been my prediction since, like, week two. Um, I think it's going to be the Ravens and the 49ers, and I yeah. think the Ravens are going to win. Yeah. That's my prediction. And yeah. um, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but um, if you look back at, like, the past three or four um, – Super Bowl logos, <laughs> they have... I heard this this weekend. Yes, they yeah. have the colors of the two teams who are in the Super Bowl. So yeah. after just seeing that, I was like, okay, it's going to be the Ravens and the 49ers or the Chiefs. That's what I was mm-hmm, thinking. Mm-hmm. And then after the season went on, I still think it's going to be the Ravens and the 49ers. So, yeah. And I think the Ravens are going to win. Yeah. You know, I, 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 had just, I just have to pick my Cowboys. I do. I do. Do I really... Would I put money that they're going to win? No, <laughs> I would. <laughs> but I have to. I'd have to. I, I just have to go for my Cowboys. Yeah, I'll, I'll loyal out, fan at least. Going out on a limb. Yeah. You know they they looked all right uh, the last couple of weeks and mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, yeah. So I'm going to pick my Cowboys. Absolutely. Who do you think they're going to? The Ravens. The Ravens okay. are amazing. Yeah. 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 Offense, defense, special teams. The Ravens are sure. real, really good. So, yeah. I would hate to face. And them. who'd they just sign? They is it who the Ravens? Yeah, yeah, they they signed Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook, Cook yeah. Well, that's mm-hmm. not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was the one thing they were kind of missing, and now they've just got a whole yeah, yeah another running back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, speaking of running backs for the Ravens, um, uh, the Tennessee run Derrick Henry mm-hmm. he, yesterday may have been the last game with Tennessee. I saw. I saw. He, his he, he would be perfect in Baltimore. He would be oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. That, that's my prediction next year. He's going to be signing with the Ravens. and it's going Wow. To be, yeah. yeah. Derek Henry's an, another one that um, yeah. I've met. So. Oh, another one again. Yeah, I met, one. I, met, I met DH. He's a good dude. <laughs> yeah, he is, he is a good guy. Yeah, okay. so we put your prediction yes. for who's going to the Super Bowl in the comments. Uh, message us and let us know. Yeah. And then uh, if somebody gets it right, then we should do something special for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe next week we'll t- do some score yeah. predictions. Yeah, yeah. Especially Gordy. You know Gordy's going to be picking his dolphins. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. Especially the dolphins were to win. We should do something special for Gordy. <laughs> yeah, throw a party. <laughs> throw a party. Awesome. Yeah. So we're going to move on to our next topic. And um, some recent news that have been coming out are some head coach firings, some yeah. GM firings. So we're yeah. going to 
dive a little deeper into those. So Falcons commanders fired their head coach just recently. Yep. And this morning. Yeah. yeah. And the Panthers fired their GM. Yeah. This morning as well. So the Panthers, the Panthers should continue and just fire their owner. Did you see what he did from their press box? Was it last week? What did he do? He, he was so mad at the, uh, who are they playing? I forgot who they were playing. Was, I think it was Jacksonville. He was so mad at the Jacksonville fans that from his little suite, he threw his drink on them. <laughs> no, the <laughs> yeah, owner? the owner of the oh, Carolina that's Panthers. that's terrible. Yeah, the Panthers are in such disarray because they mm-hmm. traded so much of their draft picks Yeah, they're not even getting this, a first round yeah, for, for year. Bryce Young. Yeah, and who he's just did not, not do well at all this yeah. year. Yeah. And, you know, they, they fired their head coach, Frank Reich, in the middle of the season, mm-hmm. didn't really give him a shot. And now they're GM. So I, I would not want anything to do with the Panthers. If they called me today, which they won't, mm-hmm. but if they were to call me to work for him, be no way. No yeah. Way. I wouldn't, no way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're, they're just falling apart. Yeah. We'll see what happens. In- yeah. The off season because they definitely did not make it to the playoffs. So when organizations fire leadership like that, I mean, how how would that affect? How does that affect the rest of the organization? Well, it's hard to kind of pick up from um, that, especially. Well, they fire their head coach in the middle of the season, and mm-hmm. then they kind of have to do a shift, and mm-hmm. now they fire their GM, who was there mm-hmm. the whole season, but mm-hmm. clearly wasn't doing too much for them. So, who knows if they're on the right track? It seems like speaking of head coaches and on the right track, what if your Raiders <laughs> don't hire Antonio Pierce? Uh, I honestly, I think they will. I you think, think they will. if they don't, what if they don't? Um, I don't know. You could always become a Cowboys fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the last option. That's the last. Yeah, one. I don't know, but honestly, I do think they will. I think. Everybody on the Raiders is rooting for him. Right. Raiders fans are rooting for right. him. And yeah, Devontae yeah. and Max Crosby, they're all like, you know, he, here's, the, here's the one the reason guy. why they won't to keep Jim Harbaugh from coaching the Chargers. Mm. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I still like Antonio Pierce. I, so do I. I think yeah. he should be the choice, but I agree. the Raiders have made but, yeah. some. Unusual decisions with their head coaches the last they always do, handful yeah. of years. Mm-hmm. If they don't hire Antonio Pierce, the only reason would be to keep Jim Har to hire Jim Harbaugh, yeah, and to mm-hmm. keep him away from the Chargers. Yeah, I've been hearing rumors that uh, Bill Belichick is gonna. Yeah, but I yeah. don't. I personally don't think they're gonna do that because they already yeah. tried Josh McDaniels. Yeah, and yeah. I, the the Patriots way is just not a Raiders way. No, so. no. Anyway, yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. But it's tough when any organization, sports or business, you know, gets rid of their leadership. It's yeah. really it, – it, it affects everybody in that organization. It's hard to adjust for sure. Yeah. Yeah, especially when they're used to it for however long. And then whether mm-hmm. it's a good change or a bad change, it's still hard. Yeah. So, but yeah. hopefully – We'll see some turnaround for them. Maybe since we're talking about them, they're going to start turning up because that's yeah. what happened for the Pistons. Mm. We talked about them. We talked about them. And they and won boom. a game. They won a game. Yay. They won a game. <laughs> it was our influence. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> um, so who have we not talked about? The Falcons and the Commanders, they both yeah. just fired their head coach. Yeah. Um, the Falcons recently lost to the Saints like Forty-three to seventeen. They lost. All, yeah, they're something pretty like bad. That. The the Saints yeah. did kind of, in my opinion, it was kind of. A, I don't know if you saw the very end. They wanted mm-hmm. one of their players to get score a touchdown this year, mm. so they handed the ball off when they were in like a kneel down position to oh. run the clock out. They gave him the ball so he could score real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Falcons uh. coach, he's going to be. Uh, remember for just uh, yelling at the Saints coach, and then that was the end of his career. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Well, personally, yeah. I I like the Saints because of yeah. Derek Carr. Derek Carr. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. So we can kind of segue into our next. Yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah. 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 First topic, he was yeah. like, "We got to talk about the Eagles." Yeah, and it talks about leadership. I want to get into their, <laughs> their leadership or lack thereof, <laughs> and everybody who hates me for wearing my Dak jersey. You know, a good majority of them are probably Eagles fans. Yeah. So I want to pour a little salt in your wound. (laughs) 
the Eagles, I saw this last night on the um, uh, Sunday Night Football on NBC. Mm-hmm. The little uh, metrics guy, the little stats dude, you ever see him? He's real nerdy. He's phenomenal, right? Probably. He was talking <laughs> about in week 13, at that point when the Eagles had just lost like one or two games, I forgot what it was, but they were 96% chance 96 percent favored to win the nfc east mm. and the cowboys were only like four or five percent back then yeah well it has to be four percent right 96 percent on week 13 to win the east and they lost the east yesterday the eagles did yep they lost they five did. of their last six games and honestly it wasn't even close Yesterday's debacle, they lost to the Giants. The Giants. Were Even the Raiders team. beat the Giants. <laughs> I was thinking about this yesterday. From the second half of the game the Eagles had last week, the previous week against the Cardinals, they were outscored 29-3, to and then they were outscored 24 to nothing in the first half yesterday. So yeah. in, the, in, one, in those four quarters, they were outscored by the Cardinals and Giants 53-3. to Two of the worst two teams. Ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, this year, right? Yeah. Two of the worst teams this year. Yeah. And you were a team that were 10 and 1, I think, 11 and 1, the Eagles, 10 mm-hmm. and 1. Yeah. And to go from that far ahead of everybody to Especially being. Especially after how their yeah. last season has gone and the yeah. last couple seasons. Yeah. And, the, and playing for the number one seed, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And to go. That far down into the depths that quickly, I think the biggest thing is the loss of their two coordinators. They Mm -hmm. have not been able to make any adjustments since the 49ers killed them in Philly. And since then, they've been exposed yeah, big time. Mm -hmm. Every team has just kind of blueprinted that game, including my Cowboys. (laughs) And the, the, the ability to adapt on both defensively and offensively has not been there. Mm -hmm. But furthermore, I think it kind of highlights how Nick Sirianni had a great leadership team around him and his defensive and offensive coordinators. Mm -hmm. But he himself, I don't know, he's kind of an awkward type of a rah-rah guy, but he hasn't been able to make the adjustments. Yeah. Yeah. They've been killed on both sides of the ball. Yeah. So it's been beautiful. Sorry, I've loved Eagles these last fans. I've loved the last week a month and a half. I bet you have. Yeah. It's been awesome. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. You know, the Cowboys went, I think, four and two during that time and they went to NFC East yesterday. Yeah. And I love it. It's yeah. Great. <laughs> you think Jalen's actually hurt? Did you see his finger yesterday? Yeah. Did you see that, Aaron? I, I didn't know. <laughs> You got to look it up, you know, go on TikTok or Instagram. Well, go on TikTok because they don't blur it out. Um, they blurred it out on Instagram. It was that bad. Yeah. And it was his middle finger too. So I yeah. Know, but, yeah. But it was bending in two different ways it's not supposed to bend. <laughs> yeah. It was not good. I, I read, no, they said it's, they did an x-ray. It's not like that bad. They it's said, not but he's taking bad. it day by day. Oh That's what they said. He did tape it up to his, one, his ring finger, I think. Yeah. Or his pointer. Mm-hmm. But he, he actually, you know, went back into the game. They took him out because they were getting blown out. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So some injuries <laughs> have also taken yeah. a toll on them. Yeah. AJ Brown is he hurt? Yeah, he hurt his right ankle. About that. Yep. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So <coughs> yeah. between Excuse leadership me. and injuries, mm. well, we'll see yeah. where it takes the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Who were they? Going against first round of the uh, playoffs. First round of the Tampa? playoffs, they got Tampa Bay. They got Tampa Bay at? <clears throat> yeah, Tampa, Tampa Bay. Bay. Yep, Tampa Bay. Yeah, considering everything, it's not a bad draw for the Eagles. Oh, yeah. Tampa yeah. Bay, you know, but we will see. We will see. I will not see. be upset if the Eagles, you know, bow out the first round. Yeah, that and that kind of takes us to our <clears throat> next topic. We've just got NFL playoffs on here because the yep. last games yep. of the regular season were on Sunday. So... Yep. We are heading into the playoffs, and we're very excited. Uh, well, some of us are. <laughs> I'm excited. Not me. I'm excited. <laughs> Whatever. No, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch, see how things play out. I feel like there might be some Do you, some do you got some sleepers? Who are your upsets then? I don't know. Um, well, obviously, since I said I'm going for the Ravens and the 49ers, those aren't upsets. I think those are the mm-hmm. people that or yeah. the teams that people are probably most 
um, going for. They um, got their first round by each one of them. Yeah, they yeah. both do. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like on paper, that's mm-hmm. who everybody would say. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it would be fun <coughs> to watch some, I think some teams team sneak up most there. most susceptible to an upset is Kansas City. Yeah. They haven't been playing that well. I hope they don't make it. That's They haven't been playing that well. Miami, no, Miami, Miami rolls over there next week. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah. we'll see. Are we'll they see. playing at home? In Kansas City. Okay. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know. But the thing with the Dolphins is they, they're they kind of iffy too. Sometimes yeah. when they play against good teams, they just can't pull it together. Yeah. But G- Gordy, I'm not saying the Dolphins are any good. I'm just saying <laughs> Kansas City's not playing well. <laughs> I like the Dolphins more than the Chiefs, Gordy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I, I but just, I am a Raiders I, fan. Yeah, the so. Chiefs just aren't playing. No, well no, they have not been able to pull it together. They have yeah. no receivers. Um, oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pacheco's yeah. kind of all they've got. Even Kelsey hasn't been. Yeah. Sorry, Swifties, but <laughs> even Kelsey has not been playing up to yeah. how he should be at yeah. least, and yeah. so. so. Yeah, I don't know. I think in the NFC, um, you know, uh, even though Philly's the lower seed, you know, mm-hmm. I think they're going to get um, beat by Tampa Bay. It's going to yeah. be a weird, like, you know, fifteen to twelve game or something like that. Yeah, you know, so. yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> but that's kind of my prediction there. My Cowboys have a tough draw against the Packers. Yeah. I'm not, you know, the Packers have been red hot the last month and a half, they two have months. Been. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm not. I'm going to stay away from predicting anything there. I will say this, and I'm sorry, Aaron. I will say this. Um, I do want the Lions to get beat uh, <laughs> by the Rams, and here's why: is uh, a couple weeks ago. I don't know if you realize this, but there was a there was a controversial play. We're not going to get into if it was right or wrong, but a controversial mm. play by the refs. Yeah, I know. Exactly and I'm what getting you're every about. time I post something on social about the Cowboys, I get some random Lions fan. I yeah. have no idea who he is. <laughs> Oh, you guys got lucky, blah, blah, blah. And, and I'm like, well, you guys just shouldn't win for overtime. You had two more shots to win the game or send mm-hmm. it in overtime. Yeah. And there was a tripping call that was called wrongly. It was called on Dallas the series before when the defensive yeah. end for he's going to trip my tight end. Mm-hmm. So we should have just kept the ball and ran it. And it's funny because Detroit fans have one good year out of the last, what, 30. And they but won't they shut up. <laughs> and they won't shut up about this call. Yeah. You won your division. You got a home game. Mm-hmm. You know, and you guys just would not let it go. It was. And it's so irrelevant. Weird. It was but weird. But when you know. have three offensive linemen around the referee and it's like yeah. you, you confuse is, the referee. Yeah. For it's sure. It's your own fault. Just get over yeah. it. You had a good season. Just happy, happy with it. <laughs> You're in the playoffs. You have Matthew Stafford coming into Detroit <clears throat> to beat you. You should be more worried about that. <laughs> yeah. Than this call. Yeah. Two, three weeks ago, whatever it was. So yeah. speaking of another uh. team that made it to the playoffs <laughs> the first time in forever, what about the Browns? I know. They look great. Yeah. I'm actually excited for them. I've never really met a Browns good. fan. So if you're a Browns fan, <laughs> comment. Happy to meet you. <laughs> yeah. You're the Browns fan. Yeah. Yeah. The that's a good call. Um mm-hmm. that's a good call, I think. Defensively, they're really, really good. Yeah. Um, who are they playing that first round? I think they got the Texans. Yeah. 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 That's going to be a great matchup. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll see what Joe Flacco does. They did They did not play him yesterday to rest him. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's a good call. I, I think that's going to be a great game. Uh, the Texans winning their division was awesome. Mm-hmm. C.J. Stroud is going to yeah. be phenomenal. I love C.J. Stroud. He's going to yeah. be really, really good. Um, got a lot of really good young quarterbacks that, yeah. you know, um, uh, Jordan Love, Green Bay. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I like him too. I'm not looking forward to next week. Um, yeah, <clears throat> the Packers have my Cowboys number when it comes to the playoffs. Mm. They really do. Yeah, and it irritates me. So we shall see. But I think uh, I think the Cowboys are going to pull it out. They haven't lost at home this year, so they'll have two oh, wow. home games in the playoffs, yeah. and then they're going to go into San Francisco, and we're going to beat them, forty eight to ten. <laughs> <laughs> How did the Cowboys do in the playoffs last? last well, time? obviously they didn't. I, <laughs> I think they won a game and then they lost a game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or they lost. At least they made it. 
We'll see. We'll see. Whatever. Okay. We'll see. Um, we've got some more predictions going on for this one. So tonight, we're going to get yep. this podcast out today. Um, tonight, we got the mm-hmm. national championships. We've mm-hmm. got Washington and Michigan. Mm-hmm. And we want to know who you guys think is going to win. Yeah. And we're going to talk about it a little bit, too. What do you think? Who Don't... don't um, don't believe what I think because I actually picked Texas and um, <laughs> I picked the two wrong teams last week. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So but um, I picked Texas and um, uh, Alabama. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, neither one made it. Yeah. Um, I, I want to pull for Washington West Coast um, to be a little bit of an upset. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean. I was going for Matthew McConaughey in this Texas Longhorns. Yeah. I don't know if you watched any of the, the – there's a couple of different broadcasts, and one of them was on the side – had was kind of following on the sidelines, and he's just such a cool fan for Texas. I was kind of pulling for Texas. Yeah. So And I lived in Austin when I was little too. Oh, so. you've lived everywhere. <laughs> I've lived everywhere. <laughs> Who are you going for? Um, I think it would be cool if Washington wins. I mean, they're obviously a great team. Yeah. Their offense is really, is good. really, really good. Um, I'm not sure if Michigan has really gone up against an offense as good as mm-hmm. they will go against tonight. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just a safe better, but I'm going to go with Michigan right. just because I think they, Aaron's going to give you the tiebreaker here, I would assume, right, Aaron? you got to pull for Michigan, don't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Have you ever been to Ann Arbor? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. On campus, yes, beautiful. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. One of my cousins went. Yeah, he went there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Michigan is. I mean, like Texas and Alabama. I mean, football is everything up there. Yeah, mm-hmm. everything up there. So, yeah. But it'll be interesting. There's a lot of uh, subplots to the game. You know, Jim Harbaugh. What if it's his last game? Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. What do you we'll think see. the score is going to be? It's going to be a high scoring game. I think it's going to be kind of a in the the winner of the game is going to be up in the uh, low 40s. Ooh. So like a 41 38. Wow. Really. Yeah. Wow. So that would be exciting. I, I think hope I'm going to come into work late tomorrow. I'm going to stay up late and watch this game tonight. It's going to be fun. It's going yeah. to be fun. Yeah. You think Michael will be okay with that? Who's that? Oh, our CEO. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Michael's great. Michael's he great. Is great. Um, I don't think he's going to listen, so. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even listen to the show, so who cares what Michael thinks? <laughs> oh, no, Michael. Hi, Michael. In case Hi, you Michael. happen to be watching this one. <laughs> oh, man. Awesome. Well, right. I think we covered all the important NFL points. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this all NFL, all NFL. Um, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So um, put down below Super Bowl predictions and also mm. who you think is going to win the national championships tonight. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah.